my channel. The lighting is a little bit worse <laughs> right now than it normally is because I just can't find good light bulbs. I wanted to, um, I realized that I never did this video, the Joy Sunday video. I tried recording it probably five or six times, never made it to the end. So hopefully today's the day and it'll probably be a lot faster because of that. So because I've recorded this so many times, I've actually taken out this entire stack of Joy Sundays that I will not be keeping. So um, I think I'm going to list those on D-Stash because I realize these two cubbies are full of um, giveaway items still and so I don't want to save that many for giveaway. I think I'm going to save maybe two or three for giveaway and then de-stash the rest because I just have way too many and I still have all of these that I'm keeping. So this is to provide a little bit of context. Let's get some better light. This is my one year of stitching stash joy sunday edition um i feel comfortable doing this this late still even though my one year was back in october i think it was um and we're in february because i haven't bought any joy sundays and i haven't gotten rid of any so my stash is still as it was um when i reached my one year of stitching anniversary so um we're going to go through first with what I decided to keep and I'll show you guys that and I still might change my mind about some of these on here because I was going through it right now and I even took out a couple more and added it to that stack over there and I might change my mind again so anyway if I didn't introduce myself my name is Amy and this is a channel about crafting <laughs> I'm also the owner of mystical diamond art as you can see we're running low on some the bottom is more full um, down here and I do have a pending order that is taking for freaking ever to ship. Um, it is what it is. So let's see if I can get through this video without any interruptions or phone calls. <sighs> so let's start with this I think is one of the first Joy Sundays that I got. And I realize now that it is a um, illegal work of art um it is taken from a piece called frederick the great and this was before before i started my school diamond art and before i it all happened like at the same time when i was ordering these because i ordered them from china and they took like two months to get here and in that process is when i hit started my school diamond art and this was before i knew like was still learning about licensing and um, artists and things like that and when I first started mystical diamond art I started um, with stock images that I could find on Google like Shutterstock and things like that things that I still had to pay for um, in order to use them but essentially free royalty free images from websites like um, the what is it called the public domain and there's a few others like Pexels and um yeah so this one i started i've gotten quite a bit done on this but there's still a ton that needs to be done so there's this one it's a cat but gosh the lighting is freaking horrible here laying in some books um i'm gonna keep it because i got a lot done on it before i realized that i believe this is a dimensions kit as well so you know what can you do let me see. Oh, actually, I don't think that's the first one I started. What? I think this is the first one I started. This one's called Scenery. And it looks super dark, but it does have a lot of black in it. And um, there's a whole series like this, and you guys will see them come up in here. This is actually 11 count, and you have to use three strands, which... Let me back up a little bit. Let me see if I can get the lighting better. I thought it was no big deal at first when I first started stitching and I started it on three strands. And <sighs> so the thing that is, is when I first started it, I loved it. I didn't mind working with three strands because it was the first time that I was working with a lot of different things. 
and so I'm doing cross stitch this is one of the first pieces that I started when I first started cross stitch I was doing these stamped kits only and I put this away for a long time and started working on 18 count and even weave and linen and now I cannot bring myself to finish this I want to because I love it so much but 11 count what in the hell have I been doing Here's another one that matches close to that same um, set. This one was called Scenery 1. This one's Scenery 4. And none of them are the same size. And this is also 11 count. Ugh. And so what I'm actually thinking of doing is um, swapping the fabric out and keeping the chart um, for these other ones. And then this is scenery two, and I don't know what happened to scenery three. I just didn't order it for whatever reason. And this one's a different shape, and this one's 14 count. So I don't know, because the floss is in here, and if I do it on a higher count fabric, I should definitely have enough floss to do it again, because all the floss is in here, and I don't have to worry about the fabric, right? That's my train of thought on that. Um, so this is a kit that I had purchased for my mom. I gave it to her for Christmas. Not this Christmas, it just passed, but the year before in 2019. She did a little bit up here on the ear and then decided that cross stitch wasn't for her. And so she gave it to me and asked me to do it for her. And so I have that. This one is um, 14 count, so it's not going to be too bad. And then I have... This is another one where it's that situation. These two wolves, you can see the needles here. This is also 11 count. And I'm also thinking of doing it on a different fabric. And that would leave just the Ada. And I don't know, I'm honestly so torn. I think this probably has a handful of stitches on it. Um, I just I have so many charts and I, I'm so torn on whether or not I want to keep a lot of these, especially the 11 counts because I don't stitch. I barely stitch on 14 count. I can barely bring myself to stitch something on 14 count. Everything else, 16 is kind of rare um, and if it's a 16 it's a hand dyed and so it's can be an 18 you know what I mean and everything else has been 18 count 28 count and I know that 28 count is essentially the same as 14 count but I'm stitching it on 28 count so it the feel of it's different the coverage is different it looks different uh, compared to Ada I feel like it's still more choppy in Ada than it is on 28 count um I have this one 14 count two strands I've gotten a good chunk of this one done maybe halfway ish um, but the problem that I have is that the Ada is so stiff that it really, really hurts my hands. And so I honestly only stitch on these in a pinch or on this one, I should say in a pinch because it hurts. They're not so that you can stick them in a Q-snap, especially this one because it's so small, like it's barely folded over here a couple of inches. Like, I probably couldn't even get this to fit properly on a Q-snap because it's so small. Um, 26 by 29 centimeters. So it's pretty dang small. And it just really hurts my hands. So there's that. This is honestly probably going to be kept for sure. And then again, this was also in my first batch. And I never showed you guys this because by the time it came, I knew that it was an illegal stolen art um, which is part of the reason why I haven't ordered from Joy Sunday since because it's so hard to you shouldn't have to do so much research when you purchase something from somewhere to figure out if it's illegal or not and at the same time after I had ordered this is when I started watching handwork handiwork maniac and she did the original dimensions kit of this and then I got the kit in the mail. So I was like, Ugh, I can't show this on the channel. I don't know what to do with it. And it is the Victorian house. I think Dimensions calls it Victorian charm. 
this one's called a quiet night it's on 14 count two strands and i did start it because i absolutely freaking love the image but again i'm torn on whether i want to keep it or go out and purchase the dimensions original one and i actually have done that when i get to the other pile i'll i'll talk about that again too um so this is one that i'm still kind of deciding on this is a super cute one that i want to keep <laughs> this is 14 count and it's called are you hungry just because it's so stinking cute and i imagine that this would be a quick stitch because it's in massive chunks of color blocking um we've got magic castle and i've seen a lot of variations of this harry potter work of art and i can't figure out if somebody if there's a designer attached to it i just can't figure it out for the life of me i i'm not sure so yeah but i, I really love it and so this is staying in my keep pile for now um uh, maybe not it's 11 count you know what no it's gonna stay in my keep pile because the charts are also in here so when you get a dry sunday kit um you get it comes in these bags which are really nice by the way to store these projects in you get the cover page you get the ada you get the chart and these are always always very clear i have never had any issues with these and then inside is always all of the floss and then they always give you a pack of two needles inside of here as well so you they really have thought of everything and i really love the idea of it but china just doesn't care about copyright and you know what can you do i guess but so this is one that i will be keeping the floss in the chart and stitching it on a piece of my own fabric i think i'm gonna do um Oh, it's a tough one because I want to do a nighttime scene, but there's so much dark down here that I don't think it would show up well. I don't know. We'll see. So that's in my keep for now. This one also 14 count. They call it a gorgeous city cat. Oh, it's freaking adorable. Isn't it? Yes. I love it. And this one has a ton of freaking back stitching on it as well. Um, but it's so freaking cute. I absolutely love it. I honestly think that I'm going to do this one on 28 count even weave because somebody's calling me. I love the chart a lot, um, the image, and I think it'd be fun to do. And I'm also really, really enjoying working on 28 count two over two. Um, cause that's what I'm doing my Harry Potter one on right now. So I think I, I like that too. So that's what I keep still. And then this one's in my keep as well. And I don't know how I feel about it. I honestly, I don't know. So this is also, I don't know what count this is. If it's 11 or 9 because it has them both on here. Um, but these two, I know specifically, I have two kits like this, this one and another one, and I'm going to show you right after this. I got them from the Zozak official store on AliExpress. As far as I could tell, they, um, they don't have any illegal works of art there, but it's the Silk Floss kit, which the Silk Floss reminds me of what DMC and Artiste call, um, satin floss. In my opinion, the feel of the satin flosses should be considered silk and the fill of what everybody else calls silk floss should be considered satin i don't know why it's like this because i i got i ordered a bunch of dinky dyes and i've gotten a couple of other silks in like boxes and stuff and to me they just don't feel like i would expect silk to fill um anywho i'm just one person obviously the majority thinks opposite so you know anyway I don't know what count this is, but you can see how big, which leads me to believe, let me see if I can see the data in one of these 11 counts. I think it's 11 count, and I did a lot-ish on it, and there's so much floss in there. I'm thinking that this chart would be good. Um, 
on Forte account or Tiny account because this silk floss is going to feel amazing on an even weave and it actually um because it reminds me of the satin floss from Artiste um it doesn't snag as much and so these silk flosses snag kind of quite a bit in the Ada and by the time you get to the end you end up wasting probably a good two inches on the end of the thread because they've been so much through the rough Ada that they're starting to get fuzzy and you have to trim them early um, but the Artiste, like I said, they're so, so similar. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that they're probably from the same manufacturer and they're the same product, just a different name. The Artiste ones do not snag at all when working on even weave because that's what I'm doing my, um, Linen and Threads 2020 Mystery Sampler on. And I can play Thread Chicken with all of it because it just goes through the even weave so nicely. Um, but again because these Chinese companies provide you with a very clear chart. I have the chart for it. And so I'm very much thinking of redoing it. And you can see how much black this is. If I was brave enough, I would stitch it on a black piece of Ada. I mean, on a black piece of even weave. Do they make black even weave? Um, because the majority of the background is all black. Um, but there's a hank and a half of 310 in here in the silk. And so I'm pretty sure I have enough to do it anyway. So this is staying in my do pile. And then this one, this did not come with a cover image. So I'm going to open it by a second. This is also a silk pack. So it's got the Ada, which I think is also 11 count. Let me see if there's an image in here. This is also the silk gloss. There is no image in here. I hate when they do that. I didn't have a cover page. Um, but it, it has the silk floss, and then this one came with like an extra goodie thing inside of it. Um, I think the other one did too. And then it's got floss on a card, which is pretty normal. And then it's got these individual hanks of additional floss. Um, because they wouldn't all fit on the card because you need this many. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven hanks in here and they are heavy. These are like, I guess, mini skeins is what they would call them. But this is heavy. This is probably like at least a pound in weight. It's super heavy. Plus the floss card. So there's quite a bit of floss in here, and you can see the shine in it. So it's gorgeous. Um, I just want to show you from back here. So it is this long panel of glue and some flowers. It's a beautiful piece. It says that it is the stitch count. I believe this is the stitch count. Oh yeah. Four seventy two by one twenty five is the stitch count. So it's supposed to be like a long banner, but ideally you could hang it either way. There's also another piece of these that they have that's more square, I think, and it has birds on it. I don't think this one has birds. Mm. Oh yeah, this one does have birds, but the other one has. It's a square, not a rectangle. And so for this one. Again, I'm thinking of changing the fabric because I don't really like stitching on these anymore and I don't honestly know what to do with the Ada anymore. Like, are people interested in purchasing just the Ada and maybe, like, the, the color? Well, you wouldn't need the chart because you'd have the Ada. And it doesn't tell me how many color, how many of each skein you need. And so... It'd be hard, right? You'd really need to get rid of the whole kit, I think. I don't know. So, this bucket used to be overfilled before. That I had and was planning on keeping, but now that I'm not planning on keeping. Okay, so now going through this, I think I'm going to do away with the whole wolves kit. Because again, I just have too many. And lately, I'm gravitating towards keeping a giraffe. Um... 
doing the um, the counted pieces and not the stamped pieces. It's just the basket, Z, so you can get it out of there. So the cats don't pee on it. The scenery kits, I'm probably still going to keep because I haven't quite decided what I want to do with those in this one. I'm probably halfway done. And then my cat, I will still be keeping him because I do like him and I do want to finish him. And... So those are cute. Coming into the get rid of pile. So these are two that I took out today. These two kits right here. That's going to go last. We'll talk about her last. Um, because I had them sitting in my bin and I pulled it out and I was thinking, Ugh, I'm just really not going to make these. And originally, again, what I was going to do was take them out because one's 11 count and one's 14 count. I wanted them to match, and so I don't know why I got one 11 and one 14. I think that maybe they didn't have it, and I thought maybe I thought that I had the other count. I don't know, I don't know. Um, but you can tell one is significantly bigger. Look at all that floss than the other because this is 11 and this is 14. You can't even really see the floss in this one because there's just not as much plus in it I'm just gonna get rid of them because I feel like it, the, I'll show you so it's these this one's called wine 2 and this one's just called wine there's no wine bottles in either one of them so I don't know why they're called wine but they are um, so this one's beer bottles and for the most part oh, you can't even make out the labels on most of these beer bottles so it's obvious this is Heineken but then the rest it's like uh, okay I'm not sure what that is this one obviously is a male art, and then you got these like potato chip bags that do say Lay's on them, but then you've got like this right here that just has a three on it, and then it does have some kind of weird letters after it, and you can't make out what it says. Um, you have like this beer here, I think it says like kids or kudos or something on it. There's, I don't know, there's no telling. And so I just feel like it's just a little too wishy washy for me. I like the bricks and like the whole idea of it but I'm this is gonna be also gotten rid of um, this one this one's a little bit better but I'm still unsure about it you can make out the Jack Daniels you can make out the Hennessy And then the rest is, I have no idea. I can't quite, I think this one says Silver Select, Old Mecca, something Sapphire, Bombay Sapphire. I'm not a big liquor person anyway, so I haven't heard of half of these, but I thought these would be really cool hanging in the garage because my husband works in there a lot, but at one point in time we'd started collecting pieces to hang in there. Never got hung which was what prompted me to buy these in the first place, but I never did it. So these are going, well, to be sold or give away. My dog. And then this one, 11 count. I'm also going to get rid of it because I don't, I just, I don't know. I like it. But I don't understand some of this stuff that's on here. And it's got this weird like Bunsen burner thing. I don't know what it is. Um, like a holder with like a crystal vial or something in it. I don't know. I like the hat and the broom and the globe. Um, makes sense. But I just... I just have too much. And I know that... I mean, if I'm feeling about it now and for the foreseeable future, these have been probably sitting here for a couple weeks already as it is because, like I said, I've tried to film this video so many times and just haven't gotten it done. And I still have no, like, urge to do any of these. So I'm just going to get rid of it. 
Also in the to-go pile are these two, winter and autumn. They go hand in hand. I think there was two more, if I'm not mistaken. What is that? Oh, it's a piece of fabric. Um, These two birds, seeds. I love the autumn one more just because I like it, but it's really not my style and not my aesthetic to do these and have these hanging in my home. Um, so I'm going to get rid of them. They are 14 count and they're not big at all. They're um, 16 by 42 centimeters, but this is the chart right here. Like that's about the size of my hand is the width. And you can see the length is from here and it's folded over halfway. So it's not even that big. Um, they are pretty confetti heavy though. And then this one has a lot of white mitt, uh, the winter one. And I don't like stitching white. Well, actually, this one does too. But, you know, I just, I'm not going to do them. So they're going in the to-be-sold pile. This one as well, it's a gorgeous image. But I just don't find myself ever wanting to do it. I absolutely love it. It's freaking beautiful. Um, this one's just called River Views in Winter, 14 count. And it looks like this. It's very pretty. Again, a lot of freaking white though, and I think that that is why I don't want to do it because I hate stitching white. So that's another one that's leaving. This one is so cute, and I went back and forth on this one so much. This one's just called Dinosaur, and this one is 14 count. And it, this one has a lot of back stitching too, if I recall correctly. Yeah, and it's like this mush dinosaur, mushroom dinosaur. He's like sitting on a mushroom and then his wings are like mushrooms and he's like sprouting mushrooms from his back and he's got mushrooms growing out of his head and it's just so freaking cute. I don't think the background is stitched on this one. I think it's just what you see here. Um, and I know I started it. I did a couple of stitches down in here and then I just never did anything else. So this is also going to be going. Um, and then these two... Um, I'm pretty sure are stolen copies. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like I've seen so many similar works of art in this manner from an artist. I can't recall who. Um, but they were different versions of the Alice one. And I kind of feel like these ones might be part of that collection, but I, I'm not 100% sure. But this is like a take on Alice in Wonderland. This is just called Fairy Tales. Um, and it's just black all black no other color it's 14 count and it's just all 310 which it's in here and then this one is a peter pan one this is actually called peter pan and this one i think actually has two colors so everything is 310 except for um the fairy and the like stars whatever here are in like a silver color oh and then the alligator here are all silver right there or cro is it a crocodile it's a crocodile right so yeah those two also leaving um and then the last one this one i had a hard time letting go because i really love the image and i thought about just stitching it on something else except the chart is really funky this is from tin me arts and it is called Autumn Story. I actually got this off of Amazon and this was I think when Tinmi Arts was first dabbling in carrying cross stitch kits. I don't know if they're still doing it but at the time nobody knew that they were carrying cross stitch kits because they were doing diamond painting kits only at the time. I guess I just got on there at a good time when I went to order this off of Amazon and yeah I think I paid quite a bit for it. If I, I don't know maybe like 16 or 17 dollars which is kind of pricey for a kit like this um I guess not really because when you're ordering from AliExpress which is what I did with a lot of these I paid roughly in the $10 10 to $15 range shipped and I think that's what I'm going to sell them all for as well as $15 shipped um some of them I probably paid like 16 or 17 dollars some of them I probably paid five dollars for it just you know just depends but it's freaking beautiful I absolutely love all of the trees and stuff in it but like I said I just have so much and I think I'm just gonna part with it there was gonna be a color that I was gonna sub 
Let's see if you can, can you guys see this green in here? It is so freaking bright. It is like a weird neon yellow green. And it's not really dominant in here, but it is part of the greenery and it just does not match at all. So I was going to sub that color out. And it doesn't tell me what count this is either. It does say 27 by 19 inches, which is good size. Let's see. And then the chart is like, I don't think you guys can tell the paper that it's on. It's almost like it's a weird carbon copy. Can you see how see-through it is? You can tell how transparent the paper is. Like, it's just very odd. Like, you can see right through it. You're looking at the back of the paper, and it's kind of hazy. I mean, it's still clear, but it's just such a weird... It honestly reminds me of back in the day, the way they did... I'm trying to get it to focus. The way they did the receipts back in the day when it would push through on the carbon copy and you'd only get part of like one copy of the receipt um i don't know there's 22 colors no no there's 44 colors but um everything's in here i just i don't know i mean know because i love the image it just doesn't tell me what size of eight it is i feel like it's 11 count because it's very large so unfortunately that's gonna go as well so that's it you guys no no, no. I have one more story to tell so that's the getting rid of keeping pile and then I have one more to discuss so I okay this was also in the same order as some of the other ones that I realized were illegal copies and I have since purchased the real copy and I do have her kitted. Okay, I did want to pull her out and show you guys that I do have her just in case. So I bought this without any idea as to who she was, where she came from. I just thought it was a very pretty image. Yes. I had no idea who Mirabilia was. Nothing. This is a dress one day. You can see. And she's beautiful. Her face looks very nice. For a Joy Sunday kit, I was impressed with what this looked like. And then when I got the kit, I was like, why? So you can see the blue of her bodice and the teal of the bottom of the dress. It just does not go together at all. In my opinion, they don't match in the least. So this was also a Joy Sunday kit. So you have the backing thing here. And then you have the chart, which is pretty detailed. And then you have, hold on. They also called her Raven Queen. The Ada, which is pretty big. This is not, you know, I'm not going to explain that, but she's quite large. Here. Oh, she has two, actually. Glosses. I mean charts and then the floss right and I think this one came with beads I feel like this one had some gold beads nope there's no beads I thought it had some gold beads because not the floss for it and this is how the joy Sunday floss comes just like this on these cards with two needles just like all of the rest just like that I absolutely love this floss it's the CXC floss it's my favorite floss to use beautiful colors but even looking at them like that just does not match like what like where do you even put yellow in this kit like that bright ask yellow that's right there that's not what I would imagine her crown being and that's where the yellow is it just makes not a lot of sense to me so since then obviously I figured out that Miss Raven Queen here is actually 
the got the charting almost identical they changed a couple of things I can see where they changed a few things here and there but they I think this is one of the ones that they didn't just computer generate they actually had somebody come in and chart this dang this lighting I don't know what is up with this lighting anyway I do have the original Mirabilia one she's freaking gorgeous because as soon as I found out that she was stolen I was like nope I can't be doing this she's also called Raven Queen um, I don't know where I got this. I don't know if I got it from 123stitch or dstash. I don't know. But I did get her because I had to have her and I knew that I wanted to do her one day. And I do have her fully kitted. Her beads are in here. Um, I do have the full bead pack as well. Pretty sure that's from 123stitch. And then um, I do have some... 32 count Joblin that I will be stitching her on. I just haven't done it yet and I don't know if I'm going to dye the fabric. I wanted to do like a light gray but I don't know if I can come up with that same effect and there's so many grays in here I'm afraid to like these are grays, these are grays um, another gray here. I had dyed a gray and it just totally meshed with the light gray and the dark gray that you wouldn't be able to tell on some parts. Like the colors were just too close to mesh. And so I'm really afraid to dye another one. I think if I keep it light enough, it'll work because I don't want it to be like bam in your face. But you could tell this, my chair keeps rolling has a gray hue to it the background it's not stitched on white and so that's what I'm gonna do I just have everything here I just haven't done it yet but I didn't want to show you guys that I did have the real version of it in this the whole thing is going in the trash except for the floss because I can and will use the floss so it's not a complete waste of money but it's still a significant waste of money um, what I paid for that so that's it you guys this is way longer than I wanted it to be way longer so I have my kitted up bin and then I have my um, these so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in um, cross stitch attic sales D stash or whatever it's called and sell them there so if you guys want them um, We'll look over there because by the time this video goes up they'll be up over there and things move very slow over there so it is what it is i don't know there it is you guys my get rid of and my keep so now this bin is half full which is great i consider getting rid of all of them and emptying that bin to do other things with but i'm happy with what i what i got you know, I still have two bins full of fabric. I still have, see, now my, I feel like my thing's too dark. Um, I got two bins of kitted up stuff, and I've got a ton of whips. I think I've got like one, two, three, four things of whips. What's in here? Oh no. Two, three, I have three things of whips, and I've got three bins of kitted up stuff yes so I think maybe I'll do are you guys interested in seeing a kitted up video like what I have kitted things that I haven't started yet um that I absolutely love because I've come to the conclusion that actually cross stitching buying patterns and kitting things up are three separate hobbies because first obviously I really like stitching right but I also really, really like kitting things up. I don't enjoy the buying part so much because I am a tight ass, <laughs> which is weird because you think like, bitch, you have so much stash, how are you a tight ass? But I really like kitting stuff up. Like it gives me hope that I might actually do them one day, even though I won't, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, all right, you guys, that's it. I'm gonna probably get these listed and that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you want to see a kitted up video and I will fully 
dive into those um, bins that I have the kitted up stuff in because I've got some neat stuff kitted I just haven't done it story of my life alright guys I'll see you later